from a strange pink lake in Australia to a forgotten village in Italy, and from the most polluted place on earth that would kill you within hours to a world that has been isolated for millions of years. Here are the strangest places on earth. Our first stop takes us to the Vulcan Point in the Philippines. The best way of describing Vulcan Point is that it is an inception-style island. It's an island on a lake on an island on a lake on an island. So Vulcan Point is an island on a crater lake, which is on Tall Volcano Island which is on Tall Lake which is on Luzon Island and Tall Volcano Island should give you a clue as to how these islands are formed. The regular eruptions in this area have resulted in a truly extraordinary landscape. As beautiful as this scenery is Tall Volcano has killed 6,000 people in its recorded history. A huge eruption occurred in 1977 and started rumbling again in 1991. There have been 33 recorded eruptions and it is the second most active volcano in the Philippines. Its latest major eruption was in January 2020. With 23,000 people had to be evacuated during this eruption, Vulcan Point was nearly destroyed. Although, Vulcan Point is incredibly strange, it is not the only geographical form of its kind. Victoria Island in Canada has another inception-style island. However, this island has no access routes and is far away from the nearest town or village. But Victoria Island holds the Guinness World Record for the largest inception island in the world. Our next strange sighting takes us further south to the Sahara Desert. This amazing feature was walked by unnoticed for hundreds of years. It wasn't until humans began traveling into space in the 1960s that people realized just how truly spectacular this structure was. Deep within the desert lies a unique rock formation which is now known as the Eye of the Sahara. It was spotted in the 1960s by Gemini astronauts and soon became a landmark for astronauts orbiting the planet. Several theories have been proposed as to what this could be, but the craziest theory must be that this formation is the lost city of Atlantis. The Greek philosopher Plato spoke about the lost city having concrete rings around it, but this theory is not taken seriously by many scientists. It was also argued that this could have been a meteorite, but a more widely accepted theory is that the rings are molten rock from the surface. According to NASA, this circular geologic feature is thought to be caused by an uplifted dome. Geologists would classify it as a domed anticline which has been eroded to expose the originally flat rock layers. The different layers are what gives it a bullseye look. The theory is that molten rock from the surface is the most plausible explanation, but ultimately geologists cannot say this for sure. And until then, it remains a mystery. Our next place takes us across the Atlantic to Mount Roraima, a fascinating mountain that stretches across Venezuela, Brazil and Guyana. Although it is a mountain, it looks like an island within the clouds and is in a world of its own. For 20 million years, this mountain has been surrounded by incredibly steep cliffs on all sides. The steepness of these cliffs means that it is not connected to surrounding areas and simply exists on its own. The surface is 2.8 kilometers high and takes a three-day hike to reach. It was referred to by the indigenous people who live nearby as the House of the Gods, and they believe that whoever reached the top would not return. In the early 20th century, this mountain was visited by British author Arthur Conan Doyle, who wrote the Sherlock Holmes series and was inspired to write a novel called The Jurassic World, about a land on Earth where dinosaurs still exist. Doyle's book was based on the theory that dinosaurs or life forms still exist in this place. This has obviously never been proven, but still a lot of this area has remained unexplored till this day when working for National Geographic in 1989, German explorer Yuva George said. None of us have found primordial creatures or their fossil remains there, but the terrain is so difficult that only a fraction of the 44 square miles has so far been explored. What have been found are black frogs, dragonflies, tarantulas and plant life, which are found nowhere else. Mount Roraima is truly a world of its own. Thousands of miles away from this location is a place with a remarkably similar situation. While Socotra Island is technically part of Yemen, the island itself is stranded in the middle of the Indian Ocean and closer to Africa than the Middle East. It is 240 kilometers from Somalia but 380 kilometers from the Arabian Peninsula. But Socotra is a world of its own. There are over 300 plant species and five bird species that are not found in any other place on Earth. It has been nicknamed the most alien place on Earth because of its unique habitat and surroundings, particularly the dragon blood tree. This iconic tree is umbrella-shaped and doesn't look like any other tree in the world, but Sakat is also an island marred by conflict. It has been known as a pirate base as far as Marco Polo. 
More recently, it has often been a refueling place for Somali pirates and has also been impacted by the ongoing war between Yemen and Saudi Arabia. The island is currently controlled by the United Arab, for its military and ally of Saudi Arabia. So despite its incredible beauty, not a lot of tourists come here. Moving on to the Bahamas, we have one of the deepest known blue holes. While this is a popular tourist spot, the feature is also helpful to us when researching extraterrestrial life forms. Cave scientists are discovering microbial life deep in caves, which are feeding upon sulfur compounds that are apparently toxic to any other form of life. Similar conditions might exist in pitch black oceans millions of miles away, perhaps under the icy crusts of Jupiter's moon Europa and Saturn's moon Enceladus. Although blue holes are incredibly beautiful, they are also highly dangerous. They are sought after by divers across the world, but often are too dangerous for even the most skilled of divers. In April 2010, the professional diver William Trubridge broke a new record at this very new site and reached a depth of 92 meters without the use of fins. In December later that year, he reached 101. Sadly, the professional diver Nicholas Memoli tried to break this record in November 2013 and died from an upper respiratory squeeze where the differences in pressure caused him to go unconscious and never recover. The dangers of these waters have not been forgotten since. Next up is an area of Spain which also looks particularly strange from space. Southern Spain is known for its incredibly warm weather, but vast shades of it are covered in white. At first glance it looks like snow, but what you're seeing is not snow but vast swaths of plastic, which cover one of the biggest greenhouse operations in the world if you live in Europe. It's highly likely that you've eaten fruit from this very region. These plastic greenhouses take up almost 100,000 acres along the coast. This part of Spain receives a vast amount of sunlight all year round, so you can grow vegetables throughout the year. Environmentalist groups are worried about the scale of the operations believing that this intensive farming could deplete the groundwater, which could take centuries to recover. Moving across to Russia, Lake Karachai is so polluted that you would be killed by simply spending an hour bathing in it. Frighteningly enough, this is an improvement on its previous state in 1990. If you merely stood on the shore, you would be killed within an hour. The lake is situated near Mayak Production Association, one of the largest power plants in Russia, the Soviet Union continually dumped nuclear waste into the lake and the consequences were devastating. According to Grist.org, the lake resulted in a 21% increase in cancer incidence, a 25% increase in birth defect, and a 41% increase in leukemia. And the surrounding region of Chelyabinsk, much like we saw with the Chernobyl disaster, the Soviet Union tried to cover up and downplay the dangers of what was happening. Doctors were simply not allowed to diagnose patients with radiation poisoning. Instead, they were diagnosed with the special disease. In the 1990s when Russia reopened itself to the world, this lake was declared the most polluted part of the world. The lake is covered in concrete blocks, but making the place 100% safe again is almost impossible. Our next stop is at Yellowstone National Park. While this looks like something photoshopped or a work of surreal art, this is what the Grand Prismatic Spring actually looks like. Grand Prismatic Spring is Yellowstone National Park's largest spring. At more than 35 meters deep, this spring was first, officially discovered during an expedition by Ferdinand Hayden. According to the Smithsonian, nothing ever conceived by human art could equal the peculiar vividness and delicacy of color of these remarkable prismatic springs. Hot springs are caused by heated water emerging from the Earth's surface. Water at the center of this spring reaches 87 degrees Celsius, which is too hot to sustain any life forms. As a result, the water is incredibly clear and results in a profound blue in the center. As the water spreads out, it cools and gives it the shape of concentric circles. While there are no life forms at the center, bacteria live in the cooler parts of the spring. The concentric circles have their own unique temperature and different types of bacteria flock to each different ring. These different bacteria give rise to the different colors and the amazing appearance of this spring. Our next feature brings us back to where we began. The Philippines on the island of Bohol is a rather striking set of the so-called Chocolate Hills. On this island there are 1776 mounds spread over 32 kilometers and they go up to 122 meters in height. The Chocolate Hills are only chocolate-colored during the dry season and grow grass for large parts of the year. The only similar set of mountains can be found on the island of Java in Indonesia. The legend surrounding the hills is the two giants fought for several days and began hurling stones and rocks at each other. They eventually became friends, but these hills remained. 
Another legend tells the story of a broken-hearted giant whose tears dropped to form these mounds. Geologists, meanwhile, think that the weathering of marine limestone is the reason behind its appearance. From chocolate hills to pink lakes, our last stop takes us to a mysterious salt lake in Western Australia. The first official account of this lake was in 1802 when British navigator Matthew Flinders was wandering through Wa through an uninhabited archipelago of islands and couldn't believe his eyes. This lake became an extremely useful source of salt and in later years has become a tourist attraction. It is safe to swim in this lake and the extremely salty water means that there are little to no life forms living in these waters and it's incredibly easy to float. That being said, tourists are strongly advised not to drink the water because of hay salt content. It was as recent as March that Scott AIG at the University of Vermont in Burlington discovered why the water is pink. The water is inhabited by bacteria and algae, which contain purple, red and orange carotenoids, which help protect them against the extreme saltiness. It is the mix of all of these colors which results in its bubblegum pink state. And that brings us to the end of our video. Are there any strange places on earth that we've missed and that you think we should include in a future video? Let us know in the comments below.